These are three books that every computer science major should read. I'm only gonna mention books that I've completely read from cover to cover so you know that I actually believe in these suggestions. First off is Database Internals. It's a great book that tells you exactly what it says on the cover, the internals of databases, and a deep dive into how distributed data systems work. This is an unbelievably helpful book if you, like me, in college took mostly CS theory classes, and now you're in a software engineering role and you're trying to figure out how all of these big data systems at your day job actually work. If you wanna know that and how to actually apply database information, along with a lot of good database theory, this is the book for you. Second on the list is Crafting Interpreters. This is an excellent book. Now you might be wondering, Sid, why do I need to know how to build programming languages if I'm just gonna be working at a regular, regular sweet job? And I guess you technically don't need to know any of this information, but it does introduce a lot of useful computer science concepts and give you a lot of great practice in becoming a better programmer by taking on a project that many people view to be complex. Of course, the really interesting thing the author shows you by following through everything in this book is that crafting a programming language is difficult, but it might not be as complex as the reputation makes it seem. Of course, there are a lot of ways to make it really complex, but this book is accessible for any computer science major who's taken a data structures and algorithms class, and it's really fun, and also is available completely for free online. So there's no real reason you shouldn't just follow through with it and learn a lot about something that's really, really cool. Number three is designing data intensive applications. I don't have a physical copy of the book on me, but it's awesome. I mean, it's just like database internals in the sense that if you've mostly taken theory classes in your CS degree, it'll give you a lot of important context onto how actual software design work. It's a perfect intro book for system design because it'll go into a good amount of depth for a bunch of different topics, but not treat everything super, super technically. So you can approach it really easily, even if you're a beginner CS major in your first or second year. Once you read the book for the first time, you'll feel a lot more confident in your ability to actually design some of these large scale social media systems or any other large distributed data system. Obviously you won't be great at it yet because you haven't actually done anything, but it gives you the vocabulary that you need to be able to discuss these concepts with other engineers on your team. Also just one of those things that people say you should read before you do your first system design interview so you kind of know what you're doing when you go in in addition to just prepping the system design problems. Honorable mention to operating systems three easy pieces. It's a great book. I have not read it cover to cover. I've only read it 100 pages. So how do you know it's a good book, Sid, you might ask? It's because everybody else says it's a good book. And the little bit of it that I did read did seem really, really informationally dense and useful for a computer science major to know. If you read this book cover to cover and you kind of retain at least like 60% of what is in it, you will be cracked at low level programming and really understand how a computer works. It's also available for free completely online. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll be back with some more vlogs later this week. Mm -hmm.